The Passion and Death of Jesus At daybreak, the nation's leaders, the chief priests and the teachers of the law of Moses got together and brought Jesus before their council. They said, Tell us, are you the Messiah? If I said so, you wouldn't believe me. And if I asked you a question, you wouldn't answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right side of God All-Powerful. Are you the Son of God? You say I am. Why do we need more witnesses? He said it himself. Everyone in the council got up and led Jesus off to Pilate. They started accusing him and said, We caught this man trying to get our people to riot and to stop paying taxes to the emperor. He also claims that he's the Messiah, our king. Pilate asked Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Those are your words. Pilate told the chief priests and the crowd, I don't find him guilty of anything. But they all kept on saying, He has been teaching and causing trouble all over Judea. He started in Galilee and has now come all the way here. When Pilate heard this, he asked, Oh, is this man from Galilee? After Pilate learned that Jesus came from the region ruled by Herod, he sent him to Herod, who was in Jerusalem at the time. For a long time, Herod had wanted to see Jesus and was very happy because he finally had his chance. He'd heard many things about Jesus and hoped to see him work a miracle. Herod asked him a lot of questions, but Jesus didn't answer. Then the chief priests and the teachers of the law of Moses stood up and accused him of all kinds of bad things. Herod and his soldiers made fun of Jesus and insulted him. They put a fine robe on him and sent him back to Pilate. That same day, Herod and Pilate became friends, even though they'd been enemies before this. Pilate called together the chief priests, the leaders, and the people. He told them, You brought Jesus to me and said he was a troublemaker, but I have questioned him here in front of you, and I have not found him guilty of anything that you say he has done. Herod didn't find him guilty either, and sent him back. This man doesn't deserve to be put to death. I'll just have him beaten with a whip and set free. But the whole crowd shouted, Kill Jesus! Give us Barabbas! Now, Barabbas was in jail because he'd started a riot in the city and murdered someone. Pilate wanted to set Jesus free, so he spoke again to the crowds, but they kept shouting, Nail him to a cross! Nail him to a cross! Pilate spoke to them a third time. But what crime has he done? I've not found him guilty of anything for which he should be put to death. I'll have him beaten with a whip and set free. The people kept on shouting as loud as they could for Jesus to be put to death. Finally, Pilate gave in. He freed the man who was in jail for rioting and murder because he was the one the crowd wanted to be set free. Then Pilate handed Jesus over for them to do what they wanted with him. As Jesus was being led away, some soldiers grabbed hold of a man named Simon who was from Cyrene. He was coming in from the fields, but they put the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A large crowd was following Jesus, and in the crowd a lot of women were crying and weeping for him. Jesus turned to the women and said, Women of Jerusalem, don't cry for me. Cry for yourselves and for your children. Someday people will say, Women who never had children are really fortunate. At that time everyone will say to the mountains, Fall on us, they will say to the hills, hide us. 
If this can happen when the wood is green, what do you think will happen when it is dry? Two criminals were led out to be put to death with Jesus. When the soldiers came to the place called the Skull, they nailed Jesus to a cross. They also nailed the two criminals to crosses, one on each side of Jesus. Jesus said, Father, forgive these people. They don't know what they're doing. While the crowd stood there watching Jesus, the soldiers gambled for his clothes. The leaders insulted him by saying, He saved others. Now he should save himself, if he really is God's chosen Messiah. The soldiers made fun of Jesus and brought him some wine. They said, yeah, If you're the king of the Jews, save yourself. <laughs> Above him was a sign that said, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals hanging there also insulted Jesus by saying, Yeah, uh, aren't you the Messiah? <laughs> save yourself and save us. But the other criminal told the first one off, Don't you fear God? Aren't you getting the same punishment as this man? We got what was coming to us, but he didn't do anything wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Remember me when you come into power? I pr promise you that today you will be with me in paradise. Around noon, the sky turned dark and stayed that way until the middle of the afternoon. The sun stopped shining and the curtain in the temple split down the middle. Jesus shouted, Father, I put myself in your hands. Then he died. When the Roman officer saw what had happened, he praised God and said, yeah, Jesus must really have been a good man. A crowd gathered to see the terrible sight. Then, after they'd seen it, they felt broken-hearted and went home. All of Jesus' close friends and the women who had come with him from Galilee stood at a distance and watched.